Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tiffany and today's video is super bomb. I think so because like I enjoy doing this video because y'all know that I love telling y'all about stuff that I love. Okay, y'all already know that. So this is going to be a holy grail like favorite makeup video. So like if I was stranded like on a desert island and for some odd reason I needed makeup for whatever reason, who knows, God only knows. Um, these would be the products that I would choose to bring with me. Now you get a full face of all of the products and I show you guys like some more affordable, you know, options and some more higher end options. You know, if you want to go and spend a little bit more coins, I gave y'all options, honey. Always options. All right all right okay and i got a red lip on and let's be real if you know me and this is your first time here you know i live and breathe by a red lip all right so you know today about to be on and popping okay so if you guys are interested in seeing all of my holy grail favorite products and how i got this look using them then make sure you stay tuned to the video Y'all are sitting up a little bit higher right now than normally when I come on here and start a video. Um, and my eyebrows are kind of, sort of, not really a little bit down. Like, I did them this morning. And then I was, like, rubbing on my face. So, I was like, I'll just keep them on. You know, I'm going about my business. So, my Holy Grail eyebrow product has really been the benefit precisely my brow. However, with that being said, I have ran out of that. And I need to go replace it. But I did go and pick up the Goof Proof from Benefit. Um, in the same shade four, and I like this one. I just like the precisely my brow because obviously the tip is more fine, so I can get like more. I can draw my fake eyebrows on easier than I could with this. That is really it, and that is really all. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows with this, and I guess I can do, you know, do them on camera like a little bit something something, cause they're not like super bad right now. I look like I have brows, so that's how y'all know they're done, because it looks like. I have brows, all right, <laughs> all right. And then y'all yeah, know I carve my brows out and I love to carve my brows out with my Born This Way concealer. This is literally one of my favorite concealers and I use this so freaking much. I have, what shade is this one? This one is Mocha and this is the original one I got. I have no idea how much is in here, but I know I'm on the verge of running out. And then I have the shade Maple, which is also a bang, but we're gonna use Mocha to carve my brows out today because I think I want them to be a little bit more like sculpted and defined and I love 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 my brow look and lift it with a lighter concealer so that's what we about to do right now For primer, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Hangover RX. Yeah, I know ever since I picked this up, I have loved it. I went through a whole travel size of this, and I am slowly but surely making my way through this one. So this is what we're going to use today on the face. I have been having a lot of issues with my skin as of lately. It's been super rough like right around this area and I'm pretty sure, like I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure I'm growing a beard so that's what that is. You know, like I'm getting a little stubble before I get the hair, you know, I'm not really sure, but I'm pretty sure, you know, I'm slowly but surely turning into my dad. Not 100%, you know, don't quote me, but that may or may not be what's going on. Not sure, but that's really been an issue and it's been a little bit rough and i'm not used to that she got smooth skin so i don't know what's going on but sis i hope we figure it out soon because <laughs> i can't take it okay so let's just be real y'all already know when it comes to foundation my holy grail the ones i will go to forever okay forever i will keep buying it i'm gonna go back and back and back and back so for foundation, a holy grail of mine is definitely the NARS Naturally Radiant Longwear Foundation. And I'm in the shade Bellum. And then also the Hourglass Vanish Stick. And this is in the shade Sable. So for sure, one of my holy grails that is from the drugstore has got to be the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. And I have it in the shade 515 Copper. 
So honestly, I'm probably going to do a combination. So I'm going to be using the Hourglass and the L'Oreal. Now, when I tell you guys this is the first L'Oreal foundation I purchased, at least as far as I know, yeah, this is the first L'Oreal foundation that I have purchased. And honestly, have they all been this good? Or is that like a recent thing that L'Oreal is just like, I'm coming through step on the next? Hmm, is that what is that what's going on? Like I'm not really sure. But whatever the case may be, I'm into it. So I'm going to take the L'Oreal and pump one pump of that. That should be enough on my Real Techniques sponge, which is also a fave of mine. So if you haven't picked up any of the real technique sponges because they have these regular size sponges which get like a decent size and then they have the body sponges the i think they're just called the body sponges um it's the it's a huge one i have no idea how big that one gets when it's wet but it's big to start so i can only imagine um Unfortunately, I ran out of the Flower Beauty Concealer, which is all, honestly um, a banger. So if you haven't tried the Flower Beauty Concealer, I would definitely recommend. So first concealer is the Fenty Beauty Concealer, and I have this in the shade 410. Yeah, I know I'm like a little bit of a brighter under eye, so 410 is like the perfect shade for that. And then, y'all already know, the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Mocha has been my jam ever since the first time I used it, you know. And I believe that was last July, um, and I haven't put her down since, so if that's not saying it's the bang. I so, for whatever reason, I need to be, like, extra, extra, like, full, 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 full coverage. So I'm going to use both. Um, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Concealer first because this one is a darker than the mocha i probably didn't need this much no i absolutely did not need this much um but we're here now so like what can you do and i'm gonna blend this out first before i put on the um born this way concealer so before i put on the born this way concealer i'm going to show you guys my two holy grail contours my cream contours so first of all, let's all be real and not fake. Y'all know the Fenty Beauty Matchstick and Espresso is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, cream contour. This one is just the pricier option compared to the other one I'm going to show you guys. And my alternative to the Fenty Beauty Matchstick, my OG, holy grail, A1 since day one, is my Black Opal Foundation Stick in Black Walnut. And honestly, bang. So I definitely don't need to use both today, so I'm just going to use the matchstick. And if you don't have these, make sure to warm it up on the back of your hand a little bit. And place it a little bit higher than, like if you do this, place it like right above there. Because if you blend down, you don't want to blend down too, too far. And then everything just gets like out of control and you don't know what to do. Um... I wouldn't recommend that. Yeah, I know I don't know how to contour my nose good with cream like I do, but I can't never get it straight because I ain't got no business. Um, so that's why we're working on right now. So now I'm going to put on the Born This Way Concealer. I know I told you guys, but I'm going to tell you again. This is the shade Mocha, and this is the first one I bought. So she's been holding me down like for quite a while like how long is this supposed to last 12 months oh girl i'm gonna be out of you before july so this is the 202 brush from sephora and this is definitely 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 my go-to to blend out my contour on my nose and on my cheeks so it has a concealer side which is the smaller side and then it has a multi-use brush on this side so i use this for contour and it is so good set my under eye and everywhere that I highlight and my holy grail powder is definitely the Laura Mercier translucent powder and this is just the regular translucent not the I guess this is medium deep one this is the original I am going to use the same sponge to set everywhere
let me tell y'all a little secret so when i first started my channel and i would do my makeup i would never use a loose setting powder under my eyes and one of the reasons is because i always thought that if i was to use a setting powder under my eyes then i would get so much flashback and i was so scared of that like yeah, I have no idea. I was so freaking terrified to get like flashback and to be looking like stark white. And I just was like, oh my goodness, what am I supposed to do with my life? I don't even know at this point. Like it's pretty much in shambles. So it wasn't until probably the beginning of last year um, that I actually um, started using loose setting powder and i haven't looked back since so if you're debating on using it honey i would recommend go try it out this isn't a holy grail but i am going to put some of this um pretty vulgar loose so this isn't a holy grail of mine but i'm going to put some of this pretty vulgar loose um setting powder under my eye for fallout because y'all know scares the crap out of me i don't want none of those problems today probably don't need this much i honestly never use a brush but i didn't want to put um any more powder on my sponge because i'm going to be using it in a little second for eyes y'all already probably could guess my holy grail eyeshadow palette i look so crazy right now but one of them is ooh, almost dropped it the soft glam palette from anastasia and y'all already know how i feel about her so she's so used the packaging is banged up beat up and looks neglected and then you open her up and obviously y'all can see what my favorite shade in the palette is and this is how she looks for those of you that do not know then uh, another holy grail of mine is the born to run palette by urban decay and then for those of you who do not know what this packaging looks like, it is beautiful, super cute, super sleek, super. So I am curious as to what you guys' favorite, guys is, is not a word, um, brushes are because I really want to get brushes other than Morphe. Morphe's brushes were just super easy to get because they already come in sets. So I don't have to think about what exactly i'm buying you know separately i can just get it in a set and don't have to worry about it so let me know what you guys favorite brushes are because i am curious this freaking color is beautiful i think while i'm editing this i'm going to zoom you guys in i'm not 100 percent sure yet so if i don't my bad so then I think I'm going to dip into, what color is this? Like a mm, sienna. <laughs> wow, I cracked myself up. I'm so freaking funny. So I'm going to dip into mm, mulberry and that's this burgundy shade right here. And I'm stamping that in before I blend it out. So then on my lid, I took three shades. So I'm going to first go in with the shade Sultry, which is this pretty shade right here. And I'm going to take that on my Alamar brush. And I'm just patting that on my eye. And that's just to brighten up the inner corner. And then the last shade I'm taking is this shade right here. Doo -doo -doo, glistening. And I'm going to place that right over top of that rose pink.
um this was where i thought it was going to end initially and then life happened so then i went to do my under eye and i think this is really where i messed up so i'm gonna go into the shade well the shades that i have on my crease so i'm gonna go into mulberry first and i'm gonna take this little pencil brush and buff that on my lower lash line and you know she's pretty low today and then I'm going to go into the shade Sienna and mix a little bit of burnt orange to buff out the edges of that. And so it can match what's going on at the top. And then went on the top of my eye and stamped a little liner situation up here and then I was like oh that's so cute but then I was like but it could be more so then I took a little tapered blending brush and packed Noir on the outer corner I'm not blending it out. I'm just tapping. And then for lashes, I'm going to take these Lily Lashes in Miami. And honestly, I have been loving these things. And I'm going to take my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Then my holy girl bronzer is this Becca bronzer in Maui Night. And can't see my hand. <clears throat> this is how it looks. It's super pretty and it has like a little sheen to it. So for blush, y'all already know. One of my favorites is the Rose Dioro by Milani Bake Blush and then the Bella Blush by Juvia's Place. And this is what this one looks like. I think for today, I'm going to go with actually another one of my favorites is the Black Radiance Toasted Almond. Every time I move, I honestly get so close to the camera. And I'm going to take this JH04 brush, the little angled blush brush, and tap off the excess. This blush was perfect for this look. And then for highlighter, the drugstore holy grail is this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in Golden Flower Crown. And it's a pretty like champagne color and it is so beautiful. And then the higher end version, not higher end version, but my higher end holy grail is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amrezy Highlighter. And this is how it looks. And this is a little bit more on the... Mm, this is definitely a champagne for sure. But I feel like it's a little bit lighter than the Wet n Wild one. So I'm going to use this Omrezy um, highlighter today. And then to apply the highlighter, I'm going to take this Milani highlighting brush. And honestly, she is the bomb. Like, really? I think we're going to do the extra glow today because it's Tuesday. Honestly, um, I don't feel like these two go with this look, but my favorite of all time lipstick is MAC Ruby Woo. And my favorite lip liner is also by MAC and it is Chestnut.
let's just take a second. Y'all, can y'all name a more iconic duo than Ruby Woo and Chestnut? I didn't think so, okay, because there is not one, okay? So this look came out like super smoky, but super duper cute. Y'all know I live for a red lip. I live for a good smokiness, you know? So <laughs> I put my foot in this and I am looking real, real good right now. So if you guys think I'm looking real, real good, you know, or if you don't, you know, whatever you're feeling, you know, let me know. Um, <laughs> Make sure you give this video a thumbs up before you roll on out. Hit that subscribe button if you didn't already. And if you didn't already, your fake. Yeah pretty pretty fake and hit the notification bell so that way every time i upload a video which is every monday thursday and saturday honey you get the notification because who knows what time i'm gonna upload but i'm gonna upload you get the notification and you'll miss a nothing okay because you don't want to miss nothing you don't want to miss all of this all of this right you don't want to miss none of this so um that is that's all i gotta say for this video today so like i always tell you guys thank you so 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 much for watching I am your girl Tiffany and I will see you in my next video.